Hello, children. Happy Sunday. Today, we talked about waiting. Now, I wonder, have you ever had to wait for something? I imagine you have to wait a lot, right? You have to wait for dinner to be ready. You have to wait for everyone to get their shoes on so that you can go out the door. You have to wait for everyone in your class to be done with the assignment before you can move on to the next thing, right? We have lots of times in our lives where we have to wait. <clears throat> well, the Israelites had to wait for a very long time. They waited for an entire month for Moses to talk to God. Okay, so Moses had gone up onto what we call Mount Sinai, and it's where Moses received the Ten Commandments and other laws from God. And it took a long time because, I don't know, maybe God talked slowly or it wasn't all actually given at the same time. Or maybe Moses spent like a lot of time praying and God was only talking for a little bit of that time. But he was up on the mountain for a month. And so he left his people, the Israelites, down at the bottom of the mountain. They were none too pleased. They were not happy that Moses was gone for a month. They weren't sure, was Moses even still alive? Was God actually there? Or had God left the mountain at some point? They really didn't know what was going on. And so they were a little upset, a little upset. They were very upset that Moses was still up there and that they didn't have God with them right there. So they did something that God wasn't too pleased with. They created God for themselves. And how they did this was they took lots of gold, so lots of jewelry and things, and they um, made it, they melted it down and created a golden calf. So a baby uh, cow, okay, a golden calf. And they prayed to it. They made sacrifices to it. They did everything that they would normally do for a god to this golden calf. And God was not happy with them. God was, you know, really upset that they couldn't wait for God, that they couldn't wait for Moses to come down the mountain on their own, that they had to go and create this image of God that wasn't truly who God was. And I really think that as much as God was upset that they created this calf, I think God was really upset that they just lost patience. They weren't waiting anymore for God. They weren't finding God in the just small things, the small blessings in their lives. And so they had to go create God for themselves. And so I think the lesson we can learn from this is that sometimes when we pray to God, when we want God to act a certain way in our lives, God isn't always going to do that right away. God isn't always going to act exactly when we want God to act. Sometimes it takes a while. It takes some patience. It takes lots and lots of prayer. But we have to always remember that God hears our prayers. God knows our prayers. God knows us from the inside out. And God loves us a lot. And God will always be there with you. God never leaves you. God isn't just on some mountain, right? God is with you in your heart always. And so the Israelites forgot that in this moment. They forgot, and we all forget. We're all human, right? We always, we not always, but we can often forget that God is with us all the time. That's the just what happens sometimes, right? And so reminding ourselves uh, again and again that God is with us and God loves us and God heard that prayer and knowing that somehow, somehow God will answer that prayer. It might take a while. It might look different than what we want, right? But God's always with you. And God will always be with you, helping you get through everything that happens in your lives. So may we remember that and may we always try to be patient and remember that God loves us. Have a great day, dear ones.